Hey there. We decided to switch it up a little bit tonight and have kind of a pajammy jam party and read our story. You wanna show them your jammies? I have silky, <laughs> handsome clothes in. <laughs> You're <just> go tight. <laughs> and... <laughs> the little belly is sticking out. Uh, okay, okay, come back down. Come back down. Uh, have a little pajammy jam party and read our story before we go to sleep. So, in going with our jammy jam theme, the book we chose, which I'm going to say again because I always say, is one of my very, very favorites. We love this book. We read it like every single year. <laughs> every single year. Or like, it is called, we say it together. Okay. Stop, Stop that, that yawn. yawn. Good job. And then here's another clue in the back. Remember, Miss Nelson is missing, where Miss Nelson turns into the witch? Here's another clue in the back of the book. Get it nice and close so they can see. This is what the girl is going to do. A clue of what we're about to see in our story. The okay. girl is going to do it. Stop that yawn. Look, this is cool. This book was actually signed by the author, Karen Levis. It says, Dream Wild. Okay, I'll put it right in front of your face. Can you kind of see? There you go. Gabby Wild had had enough of bedtime. Yawn, curl, snuggle, snore. What a bore. She begged Granny to take her away from Sleepy Town. I'm tired of all these Z's. Let's go somewhere awake. Granny, please, Granny, please. So they packed up their toothbrush, but no pajamas. And instead of tucking in, I think she can see the picture. They jetted out. Leaving their pillows and slippers behind, they practice keeping their eyes wide open. Try to keep your eyes wide open. So you don't fall asleep. Let me see your eyes wide open. Get in the camera so they can see your eyes wide open. There you go. Sorry. Until they reached a place where beds are for bouncing, hushes are shushed, and it's never too late for ice cream. When the sun went down, Gabby Wilde was up, up. Can you place it up properly, please? Yes. Up. Tonight, we're going to party all night. We won't sing lullabies. We'll hula baloo. And we won't count sheep. We'll rock around the clock. And we won't say good night. We will say what's up. Right, Granny? Right. But the stars were blinking and the moon looked cozy and quiet and peaceful. So cozy, so, so quiet, quiet, so, so peaceful. peaceful. Granny's mouth opened wide. It grew wide, wide, wider. Granny, no! We practiced. Grit your teeth. Seal your lips, and whatever you do, yawn. It was too late. The yawn was on the loose. We always yawn in this book mm -hmm. when you say it. you yawn when you say it. We did not come here for boring snoring. Tweeting her whistle and swishing her click clackety hair, Gabby Wilde dashed through the streets, high-fiving leaves and rat-to-tatting sticks on bricks of the buildings. Quit! Grit your teeth! Seal your lips! You have to stop that! <gasps> Yawn! Gabby ran to the midnight marching band for help. She stomped, snapped, clapped, and tried to warn everyone. Grit your teeth. Seal your lips. 
You have to stop that. Yeah. Oh, what a big one. Sing, shout, follow. La, la, la. Gabby tried to get all the all night opera to belt. Using their tickliest feathers, their wettest water, and their funniest jokes, she fought to keep the audience awake. And right here she's saying, grit your teeth, seal your lips. You have to stop that yawn. Oh my goodness. Such big yawns. Gabby worked hard to stop downtown from settling down and to keep uptown up. She dinged the bell, she stormed the stairs, and she slammed all of the doors in never sleeping City Hall. Until she found the never sleeping mayor. Alert, alert, ring the alarms. And then right here they're saying ding dong, ding dong. Grit your teeth, seal your lips. We have to stop that. With the brightest spotlight she could shine, Gabby searched for someone, anyone to stay up with but the dogs wouldn't yowl and the parent, parrots wouldn't squawk and the picklers wouldn't pickle and the ice cream scoopers wouldn't scoop and the midnight marching band wouldn't pom, pom, pom. Even the kids wouldn't kick up a fuss. Nope, all anyone in Never Sleeping City could do was, what do you think? Yawn. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yawn. Yeah. Gabby Wilde was horrified. All around her, the city was getting cozy and quiet and peaceful. There was only one place left to turn. You? You're not sleepy, right? Mm, yeah. This is not a bedtime no. story. Please, oh please, grit your teeth. Seal your lips. Whatever you do. Come here, the audience needs to see. Whatever you do, don't you dare. She says right here, oh no, you too. Not Keeks, not Keeks, he's hanging in there. You look all cozy and quiet and peaceful. So cozy, so quiet and so peaceful. I've got to grit my teeth. I've got to seal my lips. It's up to me to stop that. I like how he said, not keeks, he's saying in there. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, what do you mean by that? You're not falling asleep yet. With never sleeping city curling and cuddling and snoring all around her, there was only one thing that Gabby Wilde could do. She snuggled into Granny's arms and she got cozy, quiet, and peaceful. Then she partied all night long in the land of her wildest dreams. Wasn't that fun? I really, really like this book. I think it's a fun one. My little Keeks over here, he's looking cozy and quiet and peaceful himself. So I think we're about ready to head to bed. Hope you like tonight's pajama jam edition of our stories and we will see you tomorrow. Night, night.